Assalamu uh, alaikum, bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Today's presentation uh, is Tremors. Uh, we'll continue the presentation in history taking uh, for uh, free medical courses. My name is Ahmed Al-Hadidi. We'll start with the definitions. Uh, tremor is an unintentional and, uh, and uncontrollable rhythmic movement of one part or one limb of the body is classified into resting or action tremors. Uh, resting tremors uh, occur with the affected body part relaxed or at rest and during no action and without resisting gravity. Action tremor occur during voluntary movement of the limb and it includes postural, kinetic, intention, isometric and task specific tremors. Postural tremors uh, occur while maintaining a fixed posture against gravity or during other fixed postures like clenched fist or standing. And it includes essential physiologic cerebellar dystonic and drug induced tremors. Kinetic tremors occur with voluntary movement like moving your wrist up and down or clothing and opening your eyes. Other definitions, intention tremor occur when moving toward the object intentionally or uh, for example, moving a finger towards your nose. And it's increase, uh, it increases in, ampl in amplitude as the target is approached and implies that there is disturbance in the cerebellum or its pathways. Isometric tremor uh, occurs during voluntary move muscle contraction and which is not accompanied by any movement, such as holding a heavy object or heavy Hook in same position. Task specific tremors appear only when performing highly skilled uh, goal oriented tasks such as handwriting or speaking. Many causes for tremors, we differentiate it into primary tremors and secondary tremors. Primary tremors like essential tremors, Parkinson's disease, Parkinsonian syndromes, multiple system atrophy, or progressive supranuclear palsy, uh, Wilson disease. Uh, dystonic tremors, cerebellar dysfunction, psychogenic tremor, and orthostatic tremors. For secondary tremors, uh, like fatigue and anxiety and fatigue and fear, hyperthyroidism, hypoglycemia, hepatic encephalopathy, many medications like amphetamine, bronchodilators, tricyclic antidepressant and SSRIs, and psychotics, caffeine, uh, thyroid hormone, amiodarone, and thiophylline, and also toxins like mercury. Categories uh, for uh, tremors uh, are differentiated into essential tremors. <clears throat> the most common type uh, of movement disorder, and usually postural or intention tremors, mild and not progressive, and usually runs in families, can lead to problems during writing, drawing, uh, drinking from cup or using a computer or tools and can start at any age, usually adolescents or middle age uh, men. And a uh, small amount of alcohol can decrease or make it disappear. And the mechanism is unknown. Physiologic tremors uh, occur in healthy individuals. It's not considered a disease. Fine shaking of both hands and fingers. Enhanced physiologic tremors, um, this is more a noticeable case of physiologic tremor, usually reaction to certain uh, medications or alcohol uh, withdrawal or medical conditions uh, as uh, thyroid hyperthyroidism or hypoglycemia, and usually it's reversible uh, once you remove the cause. Other categories like dystonic tremors occur in people who have dystonia usually young or middle-aged adult and can affect any muscle part and it's associated with abnormal body posture and forceful uh, muscle spasm. So the tremor here is jerky, not rhythmic. And the severity of uh, dystonic tremor may be reduced by touching the affected body part. Parkinsonian tremors, uh, usually resting tremors and the onset usually after age of 60 and begin on one limb or one side of the body and progress to the other side. Cerebellar uh, tremors is intention tremor caused by damage to cerebellum 
from uh, disease like stroke or tumor or multiple sclerosis or even inherited ataxia or chronic alcoholism. It's a slow and low amplitude tremor and uh, usually occur at the end of movement, such as trying to press a button. Functional uh, psychogenic tremor can appear at any form of tremor and may affect all body parts and increases during times of stress and decrease or disappear when distracted. And usually there is underlying psychiatric disorder. Orthostatic tremor uh, is rare uh, disorder characterized by rapid muscle contraction in the legs uh, occur when standing. Uh, patient typically feel uh, unsteadiness or imbalance and immediately attempt to sit or walk. It's a high frequency tremor, so it's not visible to naked eye and its cause is unknown. Uh, for differential diagnosis, uh, cerebellar uh, tremors, usually intention tremor, usually ipsilateral, uh, to the lesion, and there is by examination abnormal finger to nose test and imbalance and abnormal heel to shin test and stiffness. Enhanced physiologic tremors, uh, it's postural uh, tremor, low amplitude, and usually there is exacerbating medication. Essential tremors, postural tremors, symmetric and involve hands, wrist, lower extremities head or even the voice. Usually there is positive family history and it improves with a small amount of alcohol. Parkinsonian, uh, Parkinsonian tremors is a resting uh, tremors, asymmetric, involve distal extremities, decrease with voluntary movement and associated with bradykinesia, rigidity and postural instability. Psychogenic tremors is abrupt to onset, spontaneous remission, and changing characters and uh, uh, can disappear with destruction. When we start the station for uh, history taking for tremors, we'll start uh, with the introduction or set. Usual question we ask the patient, our usual points. First, we start with greeting and introduce yourself. Hi, I am Dr. Hadidi, SHO of Internal Medicine Clinic. Then confirm patient details. So you are Mr. Muhammad and you are 35 years old. Then build good rapport. Please have a seat. May I sit beside you? Then explain note taking. If you don't mind, I would like to take some notes for the purpose of interview, which will be strictly confidential. At the end of the introduction, agree the agenda. I have received a letter from your GP stating that you have handshakes. Is it right? Then the dialogue, uh, start with the present history and presenting complaint. Uh, can you tell me more about your handshakes? Uh, can you describe it? Where are the handshakes? Is it unilateral or bilateral? Is it in your arms, legs, head, face, jaw, or voice? Uh, for unilateral or asymmetric uh, uh, tremors, usually due to Parkinson's, multiple sclerosis, uh, dystonic tremors, and psychogenic. If bilateral, usually it's essential tremors or enhanced physiologic tremors or Parkinson's. Jaw or face in Parkinson's, head in essential tremors. When, did you, when do you notice the tremors? At rest or uh, sitting in a chair, watching TV, lying down to sleep, Parkinson's, multiple system atrophy or uh, uh, progressive supranuclear uh, uh, atrophy. Uh, with posture, holding something or maintaining posture, it's essential tremor or toxins or peripheral neuropathy. With actions like drinking, eating, writing, getting dressed, it's essential or cerebellar tremors. Uh, then analysis for the presenting complaint with an uh, Odbara, O is onset. Uh, how were these handshakes started? Sudden, suddenly started in a stroke or intoxication. D for duration. How old were you when handshakes started? If uh, when did the handshakes started? If started after uh, a new complete uh, starting new medication, usually this is enhanced physiological tremors. Had it for as long as he can remember 
this is essential tremors. After a stressful time or event, this is a psychological tremors. Progression, how has the tremor changed over time? Gradually getting worse in Parkinson's or Wilson disease, not changed at all, it's physiologic tremors. Any aggravating factors? Have you noticed anything that worsen your handshakes? Does stress and anxiety or fatigue worsen the shakes? B, uh, R for regressive factors. Have you noticed anything that improve your handshakes? Does alcohol improve the shakes or not? Uh, a is associated symptoms. Uh, don't forget to ask about, do you have any other movement problems like stiffness, slowness of movement, weakness of arms of, or legs or in coordination? Do you have any problem walking or recent falls, lack of arm swing when walking like Parkinson, dragging the leg and difficulty getting started or shuffling a gate in Parkinson? Do you have any problem with urinary incontinence, lightheadedness, when you stand, uh, sexual dysfunction, changes in bowel or bladder habits, uncontrolled sweating for unspecific reason, all of this in multiple system atrophy. Have you had a change in your thinking? Uh, confusion in CNS, lesion and intoxication, hallucination like in low body dementia, mild cognitive changes or difficult finance in Parkinson's. After finishing present history, go for past history. Do you have any medical condition? Have you ever been diagnosed with Parkinson disease? Have you ever had blood clot in your brain? Have you ever had any psychiatric problem like anxiety, depression, or panic attacks? Have you ever had bronchial asthma? Have you ever had diagnosed with liver disease, gland disease, or high, high blood glucose? Medications and allergies. Are you currently taking any medications? What medication are you taking? Any over-the-counter, any herbal remedies? Have you ever taken medication for hallucination, psychiatric episodes or psychotic episodes, depression or mood changes? Are you currently taking beta agonist uh, for bronchial asthma, phenothiazines or antiarrhythmic like amadurone? Do you have any sort of allergies? Uh, then we'll go for family history. Does anyone in your family have tremors? Uh, any family history of thyroid disease? Any family history of movement disorders? Then social history. Don't forget to ask about occupation. What do you do for living? Have you ever been exposed to heavy metals, chemicals, or toxins? Impact. Do you have any financial impact? Or the, sorry, do you have any functional impact? In Parasing or difficult reading a newspaper or spilling the food or drink or illegible handwriting. Does this handshakes affect your shop? Uh, don't forget to ask about alcohol. Do you drink alcohol? How much do you drink per day or per week? What do you drink? What type of alcohol do you drink? Uh, chronic alcoholism may affect the cerebellum. Tobacco, do you smoke and how much and for how long? Coffee, do you drink coffee? How frequent and what time of the day? Also, illicit drugs, do you take uh, illicit or recreational drugs that alleviate the mood? Uh, ideas, concern, and expectations. What do you do? Uh, what do you think might be causing this problem? Are you worried about this being anything in particular? What do you think might be the best plan of action? At the end of the station, go for the closure and uh, uh, summarize the main points. May I take a moment to summarize what you have told me so I can check that I have understood everything that's important to you? Is there anything else we haven't discussed that you feel is important? Then create a list of problems. So. I think you have a problem called essential tremors, which is a benign condition of unclear cause and can be improved by taking some bills. Uh, plan the next few steps. I will examine you first. We may need to do some tests in the form of blood test and may do some imaging to exclude other causes. This can be done in outpatient basis. Uh, don't forget to counsel on health promotion. There is some advice I need to tell you. Smoking is not good for your health. 
and I'm going to arrange another meeting to help you to quit if you wish. Uh, is there anything unclear you need me to clarify and add the very end? Thank the patient. Thank you, Mr. Muhammad. Thank you. And these are the next few presentations in our courses, free medical courses. See you soon.